the high temperatures, the pigeons experienced during the race took its toll on the entry of 2,700 pigeons and after 13 hours 47 minutes, just one brave pigeon appeared on the leaderboard for the 2018 Tarbes Graham National Loft of Warren Brothers and Nielsen flying 531 miles. Just under an hour later Mark saw a pigeon approaching from the south which flew straight to the trap in the fading light. 2. Record a time of 14 hours 25 minutes flying 562 miles on the hottest day of the year so far and still just a yearling, bred for the task and acquired from a fortuitous misunderstanding. A couple of years ago, Mark had asked a friend in Holland to try to acquire young birds from a fancier called Sees van Hartem in Turborg, who he had noticed had been putting up some very good Barcelona performances. In 2017, the race was arduous and he achieved 7th and 12th international so Mark wanted to buy youngsters out of those very pigeons, his friend made contact and a price was agreed. When the youngsters were ready and the payment due, Mark questioned that they were indeed out of the 7th and 12th international pigeons. No. C's van der Laan had 3rd and 5th international. He had gone to the wrong fancier, there had been a misunderstanding and they were not from the birds Mark had wanted. He was then presented with a dilemma and as his agent had taken delivery of the two youngsters, he decided to buy them to save any future problems and they were put into the breeding loft, paired together with only one pair of youngsters taken from them to race. Now named Southfield, King the Pau Grand National winner is one of those youngsters. The Barcelona International was also liberated on the 31st July and again due to the heat, no birds were recorded at all in Europe on the day but on the second day Mark did get one, winning first Open BICC and 128th International. Well done for winning the Pau Grand National and the Barcelona UK National on the same day with Southfield King and Southfield Gold Lady. Consider the challenge faced by British pigeons racing from Barcelona, having flown around 600 miles to reach the coastline of northern France. They must then face the sea and cross the English Channel before the final descent to home. Only the strongest racers succeed at this route and Golden Barcelona has now produced two British national Barcelona winners for Mark Gilbert, Southfield Hugo 2018 and Southfield Gold Lady 2020. The fantastic double national winner, Southfield Hugo, winner of first national Perpignan 2017 and first national Barcelona 2018 unsurprisingly currently resides in the breeding lofts of Hugo Battenberg, on a joint breeding program. Hugo Battenberg is world-renowned for his colony of Barcelona pigeons and was quick to recognize the potential of the bloodlines of the Golden Barcelona, and when Southfield Hugo produced his second win from Barcelona, also claiming 104th International, he was quickly moved to the Battenberg lofts. Southfield Gold Lady is the latest national winner to appear from the Golden Barcelona, when she produced an outstanding performance in one of the hardest Barcelona races of recent times. Gold Lady completed the 715-mile journey from Barcelona to win first national, 151st international, maintaining the exceptional performance of the Golden Barcelona bloodline. Like Southfield Hugo, Gold Lady is also a previous winner on the long distance, being a winner of 5th National Marseille 2019. Alongside Southfield Hugo, Golden Barcelona Cross DTR New Laureate, and Gold Lady Golden Barcelona Cross DTR Blau Beno Romy, we can also find other notable descendants of Golden Barcelona. Southfield 888, winner of 2nd National Agen 2020 is a daughter of Golden Barcelona, Cross DTR Klein Jade. The Golden Barcelona can also be seen to produce excellent breeding stock as seen in the performances of his grandchildren in the British National Races of 2020, taking third, Open British Grand National POW, third National BBC Barcelona and seventh National BICC Poitiers. The Golden Barcelona is truly a champion racer and breeder, whose descendants are sure to light up the long-distance racing scene for many years to come. My main focus is the seven international pigeon races, which are obviously marathon races. It starts with Poe International in 2019, that's the first one. 
quite a few there because I like to send them to Poe and then back to St Vincent and then to Perpignan. Three international races or maybe uh, Poe, Marseille. We start with Poe and that's the first race and in 2019 it, it's probably the best race I've ever had actually. Uh, we sent to Poe and we knew what time we needed them because we, we knew that France it was on, uh, France were on at a certain time so we knew we needed one by 9.30 at night which is so exciting because it's then starting to get dark by 9.30. You've got to race against the time to clock the pigeons and that's what really excites me about them kind of races and you know the pigeons got to fly 15, 14, 15 hours to achieve that and we have quite a group of people come and watch with the international races. You know, the excitement when I got one at 10 past 9 which dropped and it was leading the whole of the international on the night it was superb. I mean seeing that pigeon come at that time of night and knowing that it was only about 30 or 40 minutes before we hit dark it was such an excitement. Why the race was so good for me is because 10 minutes later another one came and then the third pigeon came six minutes after that which meant we were leading on the night first, second and fourth international and to get and only, only three in the UK that was so exciting. The following morning we had more follow-up as well and it's the first time anyone's taken the first eight in the UK in one national race. And then we went to bed thinking we were first, second and fourth international bus, oh, sorry, po, and waiting to see if any pigeons came through the night into Holland. And you know, there were three superb pigeons that had done that and uh, we ended up fourth, fifth and seventh international po on the, on the night. But it was one of the most exciting races I've had seeing them come at that time of night. What we'd like to achieve now is not just getting one pigeon to do it once from an international race. and We want pigeons to put in our stock loft now that will do it on two or three occasions. We won St Vincent with the pigeon that was third on the night, uh, seventh international, and he won the UK and was 200th international in St Vincent. And the, third, the, the actual second pigeon was my third pigeon and was 10th national. You know, we then send them back to see if they can achieve it. In fact, the third pigeon then went on back to Perpignan and he was first section seventh national. And that's what we're looking for, pigeons that can do marathon races more than once in the same season. So that's what we're trying to achieve. And that pigeon's now been put to our stock loft, the one that done it three times. One of the best pigeons I've ever raced was a pigeon called Southfield Hugo. I mean, uh, as a two-year-old, um, I sent him to Perpignan, and um, it's one of the hardest Perpignans ever, where there's no birds in Europe on the day. And um, he, we clocked him about one o'clock the following day, and he was uh, first national in the UK, and was uh, five hours in front of the next pigeon. You know, a major achievement in a, one of the hardest Perpignan races we've ever seen in the UK. Most people would have stopped uh, racing Hugo after that brilliant performance in Perpignan, but my passion's uh, Barcelona and I was 100% confident the way he handled that hard Perpignan and dropped and the way he looked that he, that, you know, that he would do Barcelona. And the following year I set him up as a three-year-old for Barcelona being his main aim. And um, it was another really hard race. I think it was down to 840 metres per minute, the winner and one of the hardest Barcelonas ever. And um, he came again, again at two o'clock in the afternoon. Well, we've done one of the best performances ever from Barcelona in the UK. He was a 104th international, and it was in a strong sort of northwest wind, and we normally need east to do any good in the internationals. So it was a really great performance. Once again, he was five or six hours clear of the next pigeon in the UK. And I think there was only three recorded on the second day in the UK. It was such an impressive performance. I had a lot of people contact me from Europe trying to buy the pigeon, but a very, very good friend of mine, Newbigo Battenberg, contacted me and saying what amazing performance it was and whether we could do some joint breeding. Southfield Hugo's been with Hugo on a joint breeding program. Um, his pedigree is uh, immaculate as well. He's out of a pigeon called Super 848. I called him Golden Barcelona. The pigeon was three times in top from Barcelona in Belgium, sixth, 23rd, and 170th national. And the mother was a daughter of Loyat, paired to the daughter of the old Loyat, when Loyat was paired to the daughter of the old Loyat. So his pedigree is immaculate as well. So he's now in the joint breeding program with Hugo. Yeah, I mean, Southfield Hugo means a lot to me. I mean, I, you know, the excitement I had when I clocked that pigeon from Barcelona, knowing it was one of the hardest Barcelonas ever, and Barcelona to the UK, as well as everywhere, is such a hard race to, to get it. I mean, you know, that pigeon makes, means a hell of a lot to me.